Okay, g'day folks, welcome back to Kieran's Training. So I wanna have a chat today about the correct use of a tagline. Now it's one thing that really annoys me, I see it quite often, um, not just for students, but out there in the um, workforce as well. Um, people, when they hold a tagline, they're always trying to keep tension on it or they're virtually walking underneath the load with a tagline. Right, there's a right way and a wrong way to do it. Because you have gotta remember a tagline is there to basically help you land the load. While it's in the air, so long as there's nothing around, there's no need to keep pulling on it or keeping it tight all the time. Okay, so the first thing you gotta do is attach the tagline. So the most common ways you're gonna attach a tagline is one of the two most common knots, which would be the bowline or the clove hitch. Okay, now if you don't know how to do a bowline or a clove hitch, jump over to my videos on the dogging knots and you're gonna cover it on there as well. All right, now, for the um, tagline itself, now I don't like attaching the tagline while the load's still on the ground. What I'll typically do is I'll do a test lift and I'll get it up to about waist height. Once it's at waist height, all right, I'll make sure everything's okay. If everything's okay, I'll then attach the tagline. Now the reason for that is if you do a test lift and it's on an angle or it's not sitting quite right, if you've already got the tagline on, when you put it back down, it's just going to get in the way. All right, so do your test lift, make sure everything's good to go. All right, and once everything's good to go, you can attach the tagline. All right, so the demonstration I'm going to do is on a pipe. Now, I find the easiest way to attach it to the pipe is I'd usually do a bowline around the sling itself, and then I'll do a half hitch on the end just to give that extra bit of control. Because what you'll do is, if you just put a bowline and just put it around the sling, you don't really have a great control over it. Whereas when you put that half hitch further down it, you're going to get that extra bit of control. And I know now some people are going to say, oh, you shouldn't put a tagline on the sling, etc. Now, every situation is different. In this instance, we've just got it on a um, sling that's double wrapped around the pipe, so it's not going to go anywhere. If I had a plate clamp on, for instance, there's no way I'd attach the tagline to the plate clamp because there's always a chance you'd pull that off. All right, but ordinarily, if your slings are secure, there's no problem putting it around the um, sling itself. All right, so once we do our test lift, we attach the tagline. All right, then before we go anywhere, we look at where it's going to be placed. All right, now if you've got obstructions in the way, Usually the best way around, look, every situation is going to be different. It's going to be depending on what obstructions you've got, where you're going. But typically the one of the easiest ways is to, if you boom it up nice and close to the crane, if you've got a lot of obstructions, so where I'm going to show the demonstration here is there's going to be lots of obstructions away. There's a walkway that we need to try and get past. We don't want the loads going outside of our exclusion zones. So a lot of times the easiest way Boom the load up until it's pretty close to the crane. Right? Then just slew it around. So once you've boomed it up, if you look around and there is no chance that it can hit anything on that path, all right, then essentially you can just keep slacking the tagline. As he's slewing around, you can walk over towards where you want to land it. So you're positioned, ready to stop that load as it comes around. Now, I don't mean you have to walk backwards with it because you don't never want to walk backwards because it's going to be a trip hazard. What you want to do is make sure it's clear and it can't hit anything. If that's the case, all right, start slewing it, tag on in the hand and walk around and land it. Now, I find the, lot of pro another common issue is people tend to take their, tag, their um, loads way too high, a lot higher than what it needs to be. And when they do that, they run out of tagline, so they are just sort of standing under it, trying to reach for that tagline. Don't take it higher than it needs to be. All you're doing is running out of tagline, plus you're also going to um, take it higher. It's going to get windier, more chance of it blowing around. And it also, when it's close to the crane, if it does spin around, you've got a better chance of hitting the boom of the crane as well. All right, so take it as high as it needs to be to clear everything, okay? and then just slew it around. Now, if you slew it around and you need to boom it down a big distance, don't stress about the height of it. Don't forget, you can always tell the crane driver to boom down and rope up, and that will just float that load out 
without having to worry about it hitting the ground first. Okay, now, as I said, biggest issue I find is people walking directly under the load, keeping that tagline straight. Now, what's going to happen is, even if you're not directly under it, but you're out, um, let's say, half a metre, a metre away from the load when it's above you, the perception of a safety officer or somebody on site, if they're over in the other direction, the perception of that safety officer is going to be that you're under the load and it's going to be pretty hard to explain that you're not. All right, so the further you can stay away from that load while it's in the air, the better off you're going to be. All right. Now, another thing you don't want to do is you don't want to just let go of the tagline and have it dragging you along the ground. If you've got plenty of height and the tagline's going to be clear of everything, yes, by all means, let go of it, let it come around. As long as it's not going to get tangled on anything on the way around. Okay. Otherwise, if you do, do have a nice long one, keep it in your hand. All right. Don't keep a lot of tension on it. Just allow slack in it, but keep that um, loose end in your hand so it's not going to drag along the ground and catch on anything. All right. All right. So that's just the basics of a tagline. Don't keep tension on it. Remember, if you do need to adjust it, it's just a little um, tap, little um, tap on it just to bring it around. You don't need to keep that all that tension on it. All right, now the tagline's only typically there to help you land a load. All right, so if you're gonna come down through structure, so if you've got structure and it's coming down through the structure, you can use that tagline just to guide it. When it's in midair and there's nothing around that it can hit, don't keep tension on it. Just keep it nice and loose. It's gonna make everything a lot easier, all right? And another one, of another common issue I find is when people are following the load. Now, I find two problems with following the load. One is they're still keeping tension on, they're trying to pull it back off the crane. Right, that's never gonna happen anyway. Um, now, the problem with following the load around there is, especially if you're gonna go into a tight area, you're gonna to get to a certain point, you're gonna to have to stop it, and then you, what you'll find is you'll get caught having to walk under the load to get to where you want to land it. All right, so by leaving the load there, you're not going to get caught in that position where, oh, no, I've got to get around and you try and duck under it and then you've got that load over your head. All right, so personally, I always find it a lot easier to lead the load, but don't walk backwards with it. So boom it up. When it's in clear area, all right, just walk forwards. If you think it's going to get close to something, all right, just turn around. If it's going to come close to it, boom it up, boom it down, whatever you need to do to get around. All right, start slowing around again and just lead the load without walking backwards because we don't want to be tripping over. All right, so I hope that um, solves a little bit. And um, look, if you are, just remember, if you are um, just starting up on dogging and rigging, Plenty of videos on my YouTube channel. Go to the playlists. I've got playlists for dogging videos. I've got playlists for rigging videos. And I've got playlists for crane videos. So whatever course you're doing, pop over there and have a look as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay? And if you do want a video on anything in particular, look, I know I haven't been answering a lot of comments lately, but I have been really, really busy too. All right? But if you do leave a comment, I will try and get to it, I promise. All right, I just need that little bit more time. All right, so thanks for listening. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? And anything you want a video on, leave it in the comments and we'll see what we can do. Okay, thank you, bye.